Well, good morning, folks. Welcome along. How are you doing today? My name is Thomas. Welcome back to episode number, well, three or four, I guess we are today. Um, we are back here with Cornbrook Contracting. Uh, I am one half the operation. The other half is currently away. Heading, uh, spread a bit of slurry actually, we're going up to the same place today. Uh, we're going back up to see Tony where we've got a bit of land to cover. The fields have just started to dry off enough now for us to actually get in there and spread some nitrogen. So that's exactly what we're going to do with the trusty 7485 and of course the uh, lovely, the monstrously big bog ball spreader. Um, so we just filled up with a little bit of diesel, we're now ready to go and we'll get after it really I think. As I said. Uh, we have got Jamie's already up there, uh, and we are gonna get cracking. And we'll follow him up. Really helps. I put it into the right gear, of course, and we're away. So we've got about well, I've got about 100 to 120 acres to cover this morning. A uh, variety of things, but I think we're gonna go and tackle the wheat first because uh, that looks like it needs it the most. Uh, and then we've got a bit of. A little bit of winter barley to cover. It's just starting to come to light, show some signs of life again following a, a bit of a long wet winter. So we'll give that a bit of a kick on all it needs and it should be good to go. Uh, we'll just slowly go down this hill. And Jamie is out there with a spread with a new, kind of new refurbished uh, slurry spreader, new to us at least. Uh, he's giving that a bit of a test and I think he's going to be waiting for me by the time I get over there to come and spread a little bit of uh, fertilizer. So. Onwards and upwards, it is another lovely day here on in the hillside region. Can't complain with that at all. So it's a uh, perfect time for us to get cracking, really. So I hope you're all doing very well, anyway. How has your week been since we last spoke? I'd love to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the last episode. It was very well received, and it's very great to see that it was uh, so well received and so warmly received. Okay, so we're just going to spin down this little junction here. And this road quickly turns to mush. And it's a big wet hole, but we're going to have to push through this tractor. I just washed it yesterday, but it's going to be pretty messy by the time we finish up here. And guarantee that. So yeah, what are you all getting up to these days? How's it all going? Do drop a comment down below, let us know what you're, what you're getting up to yourself. Uh, always very intrigued. Now, I do believe Jamie's going to go and crack on with a little bit of slurry spreading just down the hill there, I think. I need to check the map and see what's going on. Oh, look at that. He's already getting my fertilizer ready. What a guy. What a guy. Uh, oh, we'll spin it around. Oh, he's left the trailer there. That's Tony, I can't really see through that very well, but never mind. Perfect. And then we'll just, uh, we'll get out, we'll go and open these bags up and we'll see what's going on. How's that? Are we, uh, how much more do we need? I think we need another couple in there at least, I would say. Um, okay. uh, let's go for one more, let's see how that one works out first. Okay, I'll grab another one. What a guy. What a machine. Let's have a look see. Yeah, uh, Jamie, we're at about 50% there. Okay, I will grab another couple there. So as he's doing that, let's just bring up our little map here and see where we can go. We're going to be looking into fields for three. Uh, number one, actually, to start with, we'll get some canolas um, checked off the list first, and then we're looking at the fields three, seven, nine, and fifteen. So ultimately, we'll have a lot to cover before the day is out here. There 
He's got it here, no problem at all. Awesome, let's have a look see. Excellent stuff. There we go. Looking pretty good there, we're just about full. That'll keep us going for a good few a good few fields, I think. We're gonna go and start in some uh, canola just over there first. We're gonna get that field done. And then we're gonna work down the hillside with the uh, winter wheat and get that covered, I think. Cool, I am gonna go and spread slurry all over field 11, seeing as it's in desperate need of uh, some fertilizer before we uh, start cultivating and mm. plowing that in. Mm. Perfect, excellent. Uh, do we know are we going to be doing that? Has Tony mentioned at all? Uh, he hasn't mentioned it to me yet. All he all he wanted was just to he said uh, spread the muck or spread it muck. Yeah, I think he meant the slurry. <laughs> he doesn't have any muck, so yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing he meant the slurry. Ah, well, um, we'll sorry, crack on. I to, uh, to tell you, um, just as I was leaving the office this morning, got a phone call. Uh, okay. That Jason we we're interested in the fast track. Oh yeah, is uh, that available? He says he'd like us to come over and have a look, if we're available. Ooh, um, I think we're going to have to really, aren't we? If we're going to get serious about that, we need to uh, make a move quickly. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it looks like a fantastic piece of kit from the pictures. So uh, yeah, I think it's well worth the trip over to go and see it. Mm, mm. Well, um, that was over by, over Colbra Way, was that right? Yes, yeah. Up a, up a uh, Cobra Park farm, I think. Hmm, okay, okay. Well, I mean, can we go over once we get finished up here? Have we got enough time for that? Uh, yeah, I th well, I see he, he said that if we want to head up in there in the next couple of days, um, he didn't have anybody else particularly mm. uh, coming through the next couple of days. Sure. So, uh, I think if we okay. jumped on it in that sort of time frame, we'd be okay. Okay, yeah, well, that makes sense. We're a little bit reluctant to leave this nice weather here, um, so we might as well get as much done as we can, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll take a road trip, I suppose. Yeah, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to go and spread some slurry. Well, you enjoy yourself. Let me know how that tanker comes along. I'm intrigued to see how the refurbishments have done, but, uh, yeah, I will crack on, and I think I'm next door to you to start with, so we'll, we'll probably pass each other. Perfect. All right, I'll see you later. Bye for now. Okie dokie, let's just get myself set up here and figure out which way we're going. This land is fairly new to us at the moment, so trying to figure out where my gates are is always a, a constant cause of pain. Uh, let me see, we will probably just go out and check to see if we can come in the way we came in from actually. All being well. this. This uh, tank, this spreader is big and it's heavy, but good lord, does it make the front end of this massy want to move? Oh, there we go, that's field one, that's lovely stuff. And then, as you can see, Jamie here is just going to nip on down to the next door pass. So, we'll jump out here, go and get this opened up, and then we'll get, get ourselves cracking. Look at the state of me. I'm covered already. Absolutely covered. Okay, folks. Well, this is the stage where we I truly wish that we had GPS set up, uh, but we don't. So we're going to have to just go the old-fashioned way and gauge it off the eye. But uh, we'll get going. And uh, this field won't take us too long to cover. As you can see there, it does look like that uh, Jamie is covering some ground. And yeah, we'll get this field of uh, oilseed rape finished off. You have to come through the ground yet, it's had a bit of a tough winter, I'm not sure how this is going to establish, to be honest, but uh, that's not our concern, all we're in here to do right now is spread the spread the nitrogen, give it its best shot. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a steep hill here, so I'm hoping that we don't make too much of a mess down there, let's put it that way. That could be horrendous. Okay, nice and easy. One of the main reasons we, we got one of the bigger tractors here, the this Massey Ferguson's a bit heavier than our other one, uh, than the New Holland there. 
So it's got a little bit more control when it comes to things like plowing, and a little bit more control when we when it comes to heavy uh, loads on the back, such as fertilizer. If we one of our trailers, if we have a big load of bales in the back there, it, it can tend to overhaul and overpower the the tractor towing it. So that's why we kind of went down this line because it's a little bit heavier with the weight on the front there. I think that's about a ton and a half, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see. But yeah, it's coming along very nicely so far. Uh, we have in the back here, we're spreading um, a rate of 2010-10 nitrogen, uh, which is kind of my preferred option really for spring uh, spring application here. It just gives the ground a real good boost, really kicks it on so we can get some uh, good growth coming through. Uh, as you can see here, there's le next to no establishment, so we really need to kick it on and uh, see if we can force through some good growth spurts. So hopefully we'll see that. Uh, in the coming few days after this. I think there's a little bit of rain scheduled for later down the line. Um, now, be it, if that is the case, then we should see the the rain will really start to kind of wash this in. Okay, perfect. Excellent stuff. Making some lovely progress here. How are you coming on over there, Jamie? How's the ground holding up? Bad. It's quite firm in here, which is kind of what happens with cornfields. Yeah, uh, it'd, it'd be a, a, a pain to try and plough up. I bet it'd be quite compacted. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's it's yeah. Corn is is one of those crops, of course, that you always have to plough after because it just gets the ground way too compacted to to just cultivate. Yeah, it'd be a nice one for us to get actually. A nice another job. Uh, Tony hasn't been all that open with how much work he's going to give us, so we'll have to see. No, so yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping if he once he sees the the work we've been doing here recently, that he'll uh, he'll be happy for it to to jump at it. So, well, with any luck, with any luck. Uh, but I think I got about uh, maybe a quarter to a third of the field done then with uh, with the first tank full. Good lord, that thing's monstrous! I didn't think it was that big. It is, fourteen thousand liters in it, which is pretty awesome. Jeez, that was a steal as well. We've done well with that pickup. Only thing is, it's a bit of it's a bit fun to try and manoeuvre it around this yard. Yeah, that yard is a mixture of being very compact in places and also very muddy, so you don't get much grip. Park the tractor for a minute. Look at that for a view over the lake. Isn't that fantastic? We get to work in some magnificent areas of the countryside, we really do. Really, really fortunate here. This is field number two, going on very well, very easy actually. And then we've got the field next door that we actually drilled, ploughed drilled last week, we're going to go into there. And we'll see how that one's coming along as well. So we're flying at the moment, we should get this one done, then we're going to put an extra bag in the back just to keep us going. Uh, but all being well, we'll get these finished in the next couple of hours. Uh, now, as, as we were discussing earlier, Jamie and I have been thinking long and hard about investing in a new tractor. Wow, have you finished that first field there already? Is. Uh, oh, we're flying over here. We're absolutely flying. I'm just doing the headlands in this second field, and then we'll be going into the um, field of barley we drilled last week. Wow, that's speeding through that. I'm, I'm on my uh, second refill. Oh, yeah, you know, we're uh, I've got some good traction here, and uh, this... This spreader is fantastic. It's I've got about four and a half ton in the back here, so it's flying. I think the uh, ground's dried up a little bit as well since we were last down here. Oh, 100%. Absolutely 100%. It's um, significantly improved. So we will be looking to, um, hopefully looking into invest in a new tractor. Jamie and I have had quite a few in-depth or in -depth discussions about that. Uh, and it'll be something that hopefully we could get in time for harvest when it rolls around. It's not going to be a new machine by any stretch, we definitely can't afford that. But we want something that we can stick onto the uh, onto a trailer in the summer. And may stick into the fields in the winter and it'll still be able to do each job um, admirably really. So we have found a fast track that's looking very good. Uh, looks like we'll be able to tick all the boxes we need. It's just a matter of cost and condition for us, really. Uh, so that's something we're going to go and check out. Hopefully in the next couple of days, see how it looks. 
Do, 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 do. Another field down, another one off the list. Lovely stuff. And so we're going into the field that we actually turned over. We, this was sunflower ground, and we ploughed this one over last week. Uh, drilled it on the same day, and it's actually coming through pretty well. It's looking nice and dry there, actually. Uh, but we'll give it a bit of a, a bit of a kick. This this is just really a paddock. Uh, won't take us any time at all to get around here. Hey Jamie, this land that we drilled last weekend is looking pretty good. It's uh, dried out a treat now, actually. Excellent. I was just saying that the uh, the field that uh, I was I'm doing here with the the hill on it, had it been like it was last week, I'd have struggled to get up that hill. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's. Uh, I would have made a, made a right mess in the fields I've just come out of. Uh, so I think we can be very happy for this. What we've had like three, four days of sunshine of late. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's just dried everything out so nicely. How much more you got to do over there? Oh, it must be uh, about oh, there maybe, he is. Uh, well, probably about a third of the field left. Lovely stuff. Are you looking to get that finished thing? Do you want to go and have a look at this uh, JCV? Yeah, I think we can uh, we can head over and go and have a look at that. That'd be that'd be cool. Short short trip over to Cobra. Perfect. Sun is still shining after all. What well, better way to spend the evening? Exactly. Okay, so I think we're going down this little yard here. This little uh, lane, beg your pardon. And we will see what trouble we can get ourselves into down here. Uh, that is into field four. So we'll take on field five and then we'll call it a day there, I think. Assuming that's where this is going to take me. Yes. Ooh, look at the view from here. More gates. Alright, this field really isn't taking us too much to do at all here. It's looking mighty fine though, the views across the valley there, some great coloured foliage around here as well. Really is, but we're going to get this wrapped up pretty quickly, uh, and then we'll be we'll be taking it back down to the yard, I think we'll call it a day there. Shouldn't take us too long, oh we're a bit light there on the corners though. Front end's losing a little bit of its traction. And yeah, I'm excited to go and have a look at this JCB and see what's what and see if we can uh, see if we can strike up a deal for it. That should be very interesting. Yeah, you can see it's getting a little bit sticky still in some spots. Uh, made a few wheelings at the back there that we're not going to be able to get, away, get rid of. But it was the only way we could really get through here, so we'll have to make do. Um, that said, we managed to cover quite a bit of ground there without causing too many issues, so... Swings and roundabouts, really. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, we were so delayed in getting into the fields this year because of the weather that it's, we just had to take what we could. Um, I think that's the case for a lot of people, actually, to be honest, not just us. There we go. That is us done. So we will leave it here for now. I'm going to go back to the yard there and we're going to have a look in to see what's going on with this fast track. And I'm sure you'll see more about it in the not too distant future. Plenty more episodes up and coming, I am sure. Well, as always, when we finish up spreading any kind of fertilizer here, we always give our machine a bit of a wash down. Um, 
the fertilizer we spread can be incredibly corrosive, particularly the dust. So if the dust cuts into any of the electronics on the vehicle like it has done in the past, uh, it can cause you a whole world of issues. So it takes no time at all just to wash the whole tractor down, including that little front weight. And it'll keep it all looking nice and spick span, nice and clean. But we will uh, we will leave it here. We're going to part this up and then we're just waiting for Jamie to get back and we're going to be going and have a look at this JCB, I do believe. I need to get rid of my, uh, my jet. There we go. So we'll take this off but uh, and then we're good to go. So thank you ever so much for watching as always. I hope you have enjoyed this latest in the episode of Cornbrook Contracting from myself, Thomas and Jamie. Uh, if you have, be sure to hit that like button and uh, if you've yet to, then do subscribe to our um, host channels. Simulation for the Nation and Virtual Farmer, uh, where you can find out plenty of content like this and more throughout the week. Uh, and yeah, every weekend you'll see a video from us, so what's not to like about that? Uh, but yeah, until next time though, as always, I've thoroughly enjoyed this, I hope you have too, and we will see you in the next one, so do, do take care of yourselves, enjoy what you're doing, and we'll see you next week.